This is John Cable Breckenridge. He was a U.S. Vice President, the youngest one. Uh, John Cable Breckenridge, 1821 to 75, one of four Kentuckians more than any state except New York who were U.S. Vice President. Others were Adley E. Stevenson, Richard M. Johnson, Alvin W. Barkley, and the U.S. Congress, 1851 to 55. Elected Vice President in 1856, candidate of Southern Democrats for President in 1860, carrying nine Southern states. I gotta go on with you. Breckenridge served as the maker of Kentucky Volunteers. Okay, we are in Lexington, downtown Kentucky. This is the Fayette County Courthouse. Fayette County was one of the original counties formed when the Kentucky Company and Virginia. Cemetery on West Main Street, and these are people that were buried many years ago. The Abraham Lincoln family, Henry Clay and his wife, James Lane Allen, and Colonel Beckenridge, who was the first, was the youngest vice president of the United States, Con Confederate. Uh, Cavalry officers John Hunt Morgan, Federal Leader Gordon Ranger, and King Solomon Vagabond Hero of the uh, Plague, or Plague of Plague of 1833. All these people are buried in this very old cemetery, as you can tell too by their tombstones. This is Henry Clay and his wife. They have a great big uh, tombstone in Lexington Cemetery. He was a great orator during the Civil War. the castle of the Commonwealth of Kentucky in Frankfort, Kentucky. It was chosen when they disagreed between Lexington and Louisville. Frankfort was decided that it would be the first capital. And we are going inside the, the building. In the rotunda of the castle building, okay. we have a large statue of Lincoln in the middle. Kentucky pioneer surgeon, the father of Oviatomy, born November 11, 1771, died June 20, 1830. Jefferson Davis, 
Born Fairview, Kentucky, June 3rd, 1880, 1808, died December 6, 1889, only president of the Confederacy. Okay. Henry Clay, born April 12, 1777, died June 29, 1852, lawyer, orator, Statesman, Patriot, Kentucky, favorite son. This castle is done in beautiful gray marble. As you can see, all the stairs and walls and columns are made that way. At the top of the steps on the third floor is the House of Representatives. No one is able to go in today. They are in session. We are going to go around to the other side and show you the Senate. The doors are open up on the third floor. The Senate is also in session today, and that door will be closing. There are children here in other parts, so there's no tour guide to take. It's on a tour of the Capitol. And if you look down, you can see the rotunda and all the children and people that are there. Walls, the stones with the uh, chandeliers are gold and very articulate in design. Okay. I'm pulling one in, so I have to go back out. Okay. You will note on the walls there's different governors of the state of Kentucky. We are on the third floor, which is mostly offices for the House and Senate representatives. Okay. You can note the beautiful marble. Okay. Beautiful picture. We're right up right down through the ceiling. This is looking long. Catch the sides of the king. Supreme this, Court. Go ahead. This is a Supreme Court, and the court is in session, so we cannot go in and see it today. This is the first governor's wife of Kentucky, and they go down. All these dials represent the first ladies of Kentucky. Their governor is only allowed to serve four years. So since they have been a state, they've had many governors. As you can tell, the clothing is becoming more modern. We still have two more uh, enclosed chests to look at. Okay. We are coming down to more modern uh, first ladies. Those are in the 1800s. As you can see, their gowns are changing. 1900s. And I guess the color of their hair depicts what color of hair each of the first ladies had. Okay. This is the floral clock. Out no, this is the floral clock outside of the Capitol building. It says Kentucky on it, and has a star for 12 o'clock. They are on Central Standard Time, and the flowers on the clock at this time of the year is pansies, because pansies do very well in February in Kentucky due to the warmth of the weather. This is the other side of the Capitol building. The best I can get it, I really can't get far enough away to get it all in one picture on this side. You got it off? Yeah, I notice it don't have any gold on this dome. They spent all the money on the beautiful marble that's inside this building instead of on the exterior. 
okay. As we're walking down to our car from the Capitol building on these two hills is a very large cemetery. We don't know what the name of it is, but it keeps going on and on. On the left hand side looks like the older part of the cemetery.